You know when it, you can't like sneeze? I tried to eat ice cream, couldn't taste sherbet. <laughs> Vitamins, zinc, 100 milligrams, vitamin C, turmeric too. Vitamins, and then you never get sick. Said no one ever. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I'm so glad you're here on my channel. If you haven't already followed my social media, I'll link it right here. My socials are at Jasmineers. So if you haven't watched my other video, I want to give you guys an update as to my experience with COVID. For those of you who hadn't already watched that video, I'm going to link that video right here so that you can watch it. Um, so essentially, on the 16th of December, I tested positive for COVID. If I'm sounding out of breath, my lingering shortness of breath, and then also, you know that I always talk fast in these videos. In this video, I wanted to update you all regarding my symptoms of COVID and just my overall experience with that. For one, it can make people more aware, and then hopefully make people feel a little bit less alone. So my first symptom, which was on Monday, was a sore throat and the thing is on Sunday night I had gotten back from work around 9 p.m. so I took a shower um, I never really dried my hair which is so awful but I decided to go straight to bed because I was so exhausted I just wanted to go to sleep so I went to bed with my hair wet and you know like when you wake up sometimes you can have like a sore throat because of the fact that your hair was wet and you were cold so I assumed oh that like maybe it was just like a sore throat gotten because I didn't bother to you know blow dry my hair so that happened um what about my day tuesday my sister tests positive so you know like i go oh shit like i've been hanging out in the car with her even though i was wearing a mask she wasn't wearing a mask and she was like obviously coughing um and so that prolonged period of time we were probably in the car with each other for like 40 minutes because we drove one way and then drove back that 40 minutes, her coughing in the car, the, all the windows closed, and even though I had a mask on, sh the virus circulates. That Tuesday, I remember I had been getting a little bit more symptomatic. My sore throat didn't go away. Um, very, very mild symptoms. I All the clinics were closed by the time that she had gotten her results, which was around like 6 p.m. I had booked an appointment or an e-visit with my um, insurance to get me tested the next day. I get tested on Wednesday and when I'm tested on Wednesday, I remember that night, um, I believe that was the day where I had actually gotten a fever and chills. So at night I was getting really hot then cold and hot and cold. And I remember at one point my, I checked my temperature, it was only like 98.7, but at another point it was like 101 or something really high that was obviously a fever. And then around day four, everything started to like stabilize. Five, it was like really nothing. Um, day six was when I noticed like the my sinuses were feeling weird. It was no longer a headache anymore. It was more like my like congestion, like right up here. It was like a weird. Like, you no know one, you can't like sneeze. That's what the feeling was. It felt like I, like there was a sneeze drop in there, and I couldn't get it out. Um, so day six and seven, I started noticing that my taste buds started to change. Oh, let me mention, um, near like day two or three, my senses were like really, really heightened. I don't know if you remember the clip of when I had been eating those chips. Chips taste so strong to me. I guess that's like what happens when you lose your taste buds i don't know factory nerves i don't know so from there i had gotten um a complete 180 and went from everything being like really heightened sense of taste and even the smell because i remember i was gargling apple cider vinegar and i remember smelling it from across the room and now i can't really well i would say that i have like 30 percent of my taste and smell so for example if you can see my 
Bath and Body Works candle. I try to smell that every morning to see if my change in smell changes and I have like maybe 30% of my like smelling capabilities. I have to get like this close to be able to smell the candle which is insane because those candles are so strong you literally open one up and you can smell it all over your room. I can still smell but not to my like fullest capability. I don't know if you guys have seen those like TikToks where people try and drink different things like pickle juice and water and Gatorade. First of all, that's like super inaccurate. When you drink, you can still, for example, I took like a ginger shot this morning and it had cayenne pepper. I can still that, feel that burning sensation. So for example, I tested if I could drink alcohol and I drank a Truly and I can still taste the alcohol like burning sensation going down. So you can kind of distinguish if it's like sweet or salty or tart, um, but you can't really taste it to its fullest if that makes any sense. Like, you, like for example, I made mac and cheese, I don't know if you saw earlier. I don't really know exactly how it tastes because I can only, like, I can kind of taste the cheese, um, the saltiness, but it's more so, um, I'm able to feel the textures, the capability I have in terms of taste and smell right now. I would say that's the only lingering symptom that I have so far um, and I'm pretty sure that's accounted by the fact that there's like weird sensation in my sinuses. So every morning, I'll show you what I've been using. Vicks Vapor Rub and I like rub it in the inside of my nose to help open up the passages. And then people also said that take zinc and vitamin A that helps with it. So I've been obviously taking my vitamins. Also try that like Jamaican TikTok where they char an orange and put brown sugar on it and you eat it while it's still warm. That didn't help. I thought it did at first, but now it's been my symptoms for the past like two to three days. I'm pretty sure this is like day three. I can taste things like um, Tapoki, like the spicy sensation. Noticed that my taste was diminishing when I tried to eat ice cream. Couldn't taste sherbet at all. It just tasted like ice, which is bizarre. But yeah, um, my symptoms so far have been very mild in two years. So hopefully this passes and I don't know if it really did take out 30% of my lung capacity. <laughs> For those of you who are also struggling with COVID, I hope that you're doing well. Um, I think things are getting really crazy and I keep hearing things on the news and everything about how SoCal is now at 0% capacity in terms of ICU space and I think just a lot of hospitals in general. I remember on my orientation day on Sunday of last week, we actually went on diversion like three times, which was crazy because that means that we can't accept any more ambulance runs, which means we're really holding patients for a long, long time. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I hope this serves as a caution for a lot of people. I hope people realize that even though I take all these vitamins and I build up all this immunity because I work in a healthcare facility, no one's technically immune to it. So everyone feels so tempted to travel for the holidays and to see people that they haven't seen in so long, but I like strongly, strongly discourage you to. Um, there's this really good TikTok that I want to download and put into this video so people understand that the coronavirus actually mutated. Actually, let I'm just going to leave it up to the lady who said it. So it's now let's talk about the new strain of coronavirus in the UK that seems to be more infectious. So infectious means you need fewer viral particles in order to cause disease. So how, how might that happen? Well, this is my ACE2 protein on the surface of my cell. The white floof is the protein and it's embedded in the membrane in purple. Now the coronavirus shown here with one spike protein, this spike protein will bind to the ACE2 protein causing an interaction and the virus can get into the cell this way. If you change the shape of either the ACE2 protein or the viral spike protein, it's gonna make it easier or harder to bind. Now, what probably happened is that the spike protein mutation in the UK changed the conformation so that this virus can now bind a little better and therefore you need fewer viral particles and it's more infectious. 
essentially the way it mutated it binds a lot easier 70% more infectious than it prior was in March so it's kind of insane we're going through like crazy times I strongly discourage you from meeting up with people especially indoors it sucks I don't think people realize how mentally debilitating it is to be in self-isolation literally by yourself um here it includes these four walls nobody wants to see you because you have covid not necessarily like it's your fault unless you went out to a party then it is your fault it just sucks because nobody wants to be around you like no matter how much i wanted to see alex i couldn't see alex i had to drop off his present to in the front of my house and i had to watch him from the other side of my porch. All of the friends you think that are going out with you and those friends will not be with you when you go into self-isolation and it becomes depressing. From then on, it just gets even more and more debilitating. So I strongly suggest that as much as possible in terms of keeping you and everyone around you safe, especially during this time where we're trying to fight this virus, please, please, please do not meet up with other people that you normally do not live with Esther, it only took me like 40 minutes with someone inside my car to get covid please as much as possible take that into consideration this holiday because it really sucks especially during christmas it's gonna be it for my covid symptoms update i hope everyone is doing well i hope that everyone is staying safe and that hopefully this time next year it'll be different so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any suggestions as to how I can get my taste back, please comment them down below because I literally, if I've tried everything, the chart, orange, the zinc, the vitamin A, everything, and it's still not completely there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully give some of you some hope and some insight and I hope that everyone stays safe and that you guys have a good holiday. I'll see you in the next vlog.